How's it going guys? So I have been trying to get a good acoustic, fake acoustic guitar sound out of my electric for a long time. And uh, acoustic emulators are not new. They have been available on old processors for something like the past 20 years or more. And uh, it's basically a bunch of EQing and uh, there are even ways to use an acoustic IR impulse response and make your electric sound like an acoustic. I tried all different tricks and it was just never working out for me. So Helix introduced the acoustic simulator in version 3.0 and I was very excited to try it out. And yes, it does sound like an acoustic a little bit, but it was extremely temperamental. Meaning that if I took one guitar, dialed in my sound and picked up a slightly different guitar, it would just be completely unusable. The EQ was all over the place, it was buzzy. Anyway, long story short, a couple months ago, I decided to come up with an alternative to that acoustic simulator available in the Helix. And here's what I came up with. So the first thing we need to realize is that on the guitar processor, most of the effects are created from very basic kind of building blocks, your EQs, your compressors, uh, your delays, your filters, and all of those put together in, in the correct sequence will give you an acoustic simulator or an amplifier or a distortion pedal or a delay pedal or a reverb pedal. Now, what qualities does an acoustic guitar possess of an electric? It's more ringy. Certain frequencies ring out more. And in my case, all I did was as follows. We're looking at HX Edit. So basically what you heard is a simple EQ block. So if you notice, I um, I'm playing, by the way, on my neck pickup, single coil. So I'm dialing out all of the bottom, notching out this parasitic frequency and boosting the level so that it matches my electric guitar level. And then what else do I have here? Just spring reverb for that sponginess. This is it. This is the entire chain that recreates, in my opinion, and in the opinion of others, rather successfully, the sound of a fake <laughs> acoustic guitar. Let me put it to you this way. So that sound that I just went through, that was a backup option that I added originally to my preset, just in case. And that's what I always do. Sometimes if I'm trying out something new, some new sound or combination of effects until you do a sound check you can never really tell how it's going to work or not work so it's a good idea to give yourself sort of a backup option and if you have enough buttons on your helix that are free you can always just put it in the corner somewhere as a sort of secondary backup option so anyway i tried it during a sound check and everyone's like, wow, you got to use that sound everywhere where you need acoustic sounds like shit. And that was like 15 minutes before, before showtime. So I started changing my presets. I changed two presets with that setting and everyone was happy. That's another lesson here that you need to know how to adjust your presets on the fly. If you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes before showtime, Sometimes you may need to make changes to your presets. So you need to know your Helix inside out. That's all. Thanks for watching. Good luck.